Are you loving it? Yeah, you know I'm loving it. Loving it. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know I'm loving it. Loving it. So if you're loving it, you can't get enough of it. Then put the hand up high, right where the other is. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know I'm loving it. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know you're loving it. So if you're loving it, you can't get enough of it. Then put the hand up high, right where the other is. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know I'm loving it. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know you're loving it. And if you're loving it, you can't get enough of it. So put a hand high, right where the other. Hey guys, I'm back today. Um, I just wanted to come to you guys really quick and show you guys. Well, I'm getting ready for bed, so I just wanted to come back to you guys and show you guys how I um wrap my invisible part. Um, this is my sewing, you guys, in case anyone was wondering. As mentioned in my last video, I didn't really do a, um, tutorial on it. I do still have the tutorial on my computer if anyone wants to see it, but it's really lengthy, and I don't know. I don't feel I explained it well, so I really didn't post it, but I do still have it. So, um... I'm debating right now on whether I should post it or not. But, yeah. This is my, um, sewing on my invisible part that I did. Um, I think yesterday I did this. Well, I started Sunday. I ran out of thread, so I had to finish it Monday. Anyways, this is a video showing how I wrap my invisible part. Um, it's not too, um, too, too, uh, it's not so different from how I, I wrap my, um, any of my other weaves. I don't know, I'm having difficulties with the camera these days by moving it and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's not so different. It's just that, um, you know, I've been noticing when I wrap my hair, um, this part, because I wrap my hair in this direction. So, this part of my hair, it always goes like this. It stays just like that in the morning time. And then I have to flat iron it out and like a huge hassle and all that stuff like that so um what i do and also it preserves the it preserves what i'm about to do it preserves the invisible part portion of your hair and makes it last a little bit longer because you're not shifting it and moving it when you wrap your hair so all you're going to need is a jumbo bobby pin this is a this is super simple you guys it's <laughs> super simple this is like uh the best thing ever <laughs> So, okay, all I'm going to do is, like, put the bobby pin probably, well, first I'm going to comb down this side. Then I'm going to get the bobby pin and just put it probably an inch, probably like an inch away from the part inch to a half inch away from the part and just put it there just like that to hold the hair down and what this is going to do is hold this this right here is just going to stay just like this and the other hair is just going to go over it just like that you will still have to do some flat ironing in the morning but your invisible part portion won't be all stuck that way you know show you guys how it looks the next morning well next afternoon really um what i'm gonna do is just turn it like i told you guys i always turn my hair when i um take off my thing <laughs> so yeah i just gotta turn it i'm turning it in the direction that the hair is going and that's just to keep the hair from frizzing up and stuff like that and doing all type of craziness things like that no makeup today you guys just lip gloss and mascara Okay, so, if you guys can see, my invisible part, my um, hairpin is still there, and 
this is exactly why I did it. So, as you guys can see, my invisible part is still intact. It's not like moved, shifted, bunched, or anything like that. It's just there. It's still nice and neat. And the hair isn't all in my face like it would have been. Because normally you guys, you see how that, it would have been exactly like this and it would have been stuck that way. But it's not. What I'm going to do right now, you guys, I just want to show you guys how the hair looks um, after I wrap it. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take my flat iron. I'm going to put some bumps and stuff like that in it. And I will come back, okay? Stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back, and all I did was like just um, bumped it a little, put some little swooshes in it, or whatever. It's alright. I like it, and I still think it looks really beautiful. Um, the back, I really didn't do anything with the back, I just um, um, re-bumped the back because it was flat, so I just, you know, re-bumped it. So yeah you guys, that's my video on how you um wrap your invisible part as you guys can see. I'm telling you guys, anybody who does invisible parts, whether it be in the middle, in the side, or wherever your invisible part is, in the front of your head, I'm telling you, you just get you, what did I do with it? I don't know where I put it. Oh, okay. I'm just telling you, all you have to do is get yourself a large bobby pin, hair pin, whatever you want to call it. Put it on whichever side of your hair, like Put it on the opposite side of your hair, the direction that you're wrapping it in. So if you're wrapping it in this direction, put it on this side. If you're wrapping it in this direction, you put it on this side. You can put it anywhere from um, a half an inch, an inch to two inches away from your part. Wherever you want to put it. And I'm telling you, I guarantee you, your invisible part will last so much longer. Because what this, this little bobby pin that comes from the hair store, the dollar store, wherever you buy your hair pins from, what that's doing is just keeping your, your invisible part from shifting, bunching, moving, and doing all all that stuff that it does when you wrap your hair because you know when you wrap your hair you pull it so what you're doing is actually pulling your invisible part in another direction so you know it's kind of loosening up and if you wrap your hair every night like I do you know your hair is the invisible part isn't going to last nothing but probably a week or two weeks or something like that so I'm trying to get um my invisible part to last a nice little time because the reason I sew it in this is because I don't want to mess up my hair for a while because I just want to give my hair a break from me playing in it every day basically so yeah you guys um if you have any questions comments anything like that leave them down at the bottom thank you guys so much for watching this video I love you guys you guys rock bye